With all these retrogrades, Freighter, any silver linings? Any good things come from these retrogrades? Of course! I didn't want to give the impression in the last video that things were really bad to where I couldn't handle them. It's just been keeping me busy to where I haven't had the time to make many videos. Did the retrograde bring annoyances and things I'd rather not have to do? Well, sure. But part of depolarization and the transformation process is being able to roll with the punches, being able to adapt. It is as it is. And what else are you going to do when things seemingly go wrong? You're just going to give up? No, you're probably going to carry on. You're probably not going to like it, but you're still going to carry on. It's all in the mindset. The mindset here is going to make all the difference. Start viewing problems as opportunities in disguise. And people like Bob Proctor and other mentors are going to tell you that with the bad comes the good, if you're willing to look for it. And due to the principle of polarity, you should know this, that you can't have the bad without the good. Problems are opportunities in disguise. Now, while I could have used the new basement floor, it wasn't a very high priority. That is, until the sewer backing up made it one. Sure, it creates an annoying hassle, but I also view it as an opportunity for a new basement floor. And it's the same thing with the computer. I viewed it as an opportunity for a new computer. Perspective really is everything. Finding the opportunities in problems takes a certain mindset. And it's the mindset that Bob Proctor and others are trying to teach you when they say that you need to find the good with the bad. It is a mindset of the wealthy. Because we are problem solvers. And Bob Proctor is also famous for saying that we don't work to earn money. We provide service to earn money. Well, what is providing service other than solving other people's problems? Someone has a need that they can't fulfill on their own. Perhaps they don't have the materials or the skill and are then willing to pay someone to fulfill that need. And the better problem solver you are, the more you should earn. And this is why the rich and elite look at problems as opportunities in disguise because where there's a problem, there's an opportunity to come out ahead. All inventions were created to solve a problem. The amount of money that you earn is always in direct ratio to a specific formula. That is the need for what you do, your ability to do it, and the difficulty there is in replacing you. Now that first one, the need for what you do, is always going to be based on problem solving. If there's a fast food restaurant on every corner and you're a fast food worker, there's probably not a great need for what you do, as the customer wanting to solve his hunger can just go right down the street to another place. With millions of fast food workers and a high turnover rate, it's probably not that difficult to replace you. So right out of the gate, two of those three are pretty low. That leaves your ability to do it, which unfortunately these days, it's hard to find any place that don't screw up your order. The need for what you do, your ability to do it, and the difficulty there is in replacing you. And the need for what you do is going to be based upon problem solving. Develop and cultivate a problem solving mentality. Even this channel, Teaching Mind and Magic, is problem solving on a meta level because everything begins in the mind, but it's still solving people's problems all the same. That's where we get all the testimonials coming in. I just saw on the news this morning that they have a new drug that will grow your teeth back, eliminating the need for fillings. So you get a cavity drilled and then they give you this drug and it fills in the hole because your teeth grow back. That's insane. Imagine the amount of problem solving that had to go into developing something like that. Pharmacia. 
And I could go on and on and on about it, but I think you get the idea. Problems are opportunities in disguise, as long as you're willing to look for them. Over at Twitter, I released my first exclusive offer. Just testing the waters, I think I put out too many. So subsequent offers will be slimmed down by quite a bit. There's still plenty left, so head on over there if you wish to take advantage of that. And even if you're not, I do plan on giving out freebies each and every month. So follow me at Greater Xavier over at Twitter. I do have the ability to limit the number of coupon code uses. And so it will be something like the first three to five people get 100% off. Something along those lines. So you'll want to keep an eye out for those spot check giveaways coming up soon and continuing on throughout the year. And I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, here's another Mystery School lesson you may have missed. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more weekly content to help expand your knowledge. Thanks for all the love and support, and I'll see you next time. Take care.